defenses in America. NFL teams took the top six spots, led by the Packers at number one. Patriots, Steelers, Saints, Eagles, and Seahawks fans also made the list, but not the Cowboys. So Shannon, how surprised were you that Cowboy fans did not make this top 10 list? I knew y'all were fake. Y'all false bravado. Cowboy fans be opening up all these fake accounts. That what they be doing. Ah, skip. Uh, now the Patriots, you guys are gonna be put to the test over the next five to six years with your fandom. Now we gonna see if you have that same energy, how you was beating your chest and boasting, how great you are. Everybody mad at us cause they ain't us. We gonna see about that past fan. But Skip, all that being said, I'm surprised considering that of the top 10 games that normally come out every year that we watch on television, the Cowboys have four or five of those. So I'm surprised that with that being said, that they're not one of the top 10 fan bases because every year, no matter where we go, Skip, you remember the first year of us doing the show, we're in Houston and all the Cowboys fans. Now I got that because that still is Texas and Texas is a Dallas town. Yeah, uh, the Texans, you got, you're great, but Texas is a Dallas town. But when we go on the road, we go to Vegas and we go to New York and all them Cowboy jerseys be out there and they be yelling and screaming when we have Cowboy topic. Even this year, I'm like, why the hell y'all in Miami? Y'all not in the Super Bowl. Y'all didn't even make the playoffs. And you down here for what? So, yes, I am surprised. This is Asa 9, Asa 10, Asa <laughs> 1 billion. This is just so wrong. So Forbes says the Dallas Cowboys are the most valuable team in the world and the TV ratings, as you point out, say they're the number one draw in the National Football League perennially. Yeah. And you're telling me that they don't have passionate fans enough to even make the top 10? You're telling me their fans aren't as passionate as Golden States in basketball or the Thunder? I grew up in Oklahoma City. It's a rabid fan base, but it's about that big. I'm sorry. This is America's team we're talking about. The reason yeah. the NFL is putting the Dallas Cowboys against the Rams to open SoFi Stadium on Sunday night, on opening Sunday, week one, is because yeah. the Dallas Cowboys are the most popular team in Southern California. They're more popular than the Rams or the Chargers. Maybe the Raiders would still rival them, but it's, it's Dallas. I know it. In New York City, I lived there for a dozen years, Shannon, when Ernestine and I would walk to the movies on a Saturday afternoon from 54th down to 42nd Street on 8th Avenue. Trust me, we often saw far more mm -hmm. cowboy jerseys on the streets of New York than Jets or Giants jerseys. They're everywhere, and they don't even make the top 10 Green Bay. I know they have a nice national <laughs> following, and they're a good road draw, but... But still, they're not bigger than the Dallas Cowboys. The Patriots second, I'm sorry. The Eagles fifth, they're rabid, but, but they're one-tenth the fan base that Dallas has nationally. It, it's preposterous that you wouldn't put yeah. Dallas somewhere on this list. And then I, I tried to rationalize, Shannon. I thought, okay, maybe they're saying Cowboy fans are spoiled. I always hear Cowboy fans are too spoiled. We haven't been to an NFC championship game or won a Super Bowl since 1995. How spoiled <laughs> can you really be? I'm sorry. They're, they're, I, when I opened the list up, I just sort of perfunctorily thought, ah, they'll be number one. They're not even in the top 10. Wrong. Skip, when I look at Golden State, their fan base, what? I'm talking about nationally. That's the last five years. Ain't about no Golden State 20 years ago. Ain't no Golden State 10 years ago. Ain't about Golden State now. You talk about OKC, Skip, basically since they got a basketball team. Uh, man, ain't nobody really talking about the Thunder outside of Oklahoma. I'm, I'm confused. The elite, Skip, the Cowboys have been around since 1960. And, you know, in the 70s and in the uh, early 80s, the Cowboys were it. And they follow that, and they pick right back up in the two in the nineties. Like you said, they haven't gone yeah. to a Super Bowl in a quarter century, 
and still their fans believe they're going every single year. Every game that, watch, the games that they play, watch the highest rated games. Them in New England, them in uh, New Orleans, them in the, in the, uh, the, and I get the Thanksgiving Day games, Skip, those are normally high. But when the Cowboys play, five of their games are going to be in the top 10, top 12 every single year. So I'm confused yeah. about this. You know what? To, to sum this up about Oklahoma City, my hometown, yeah, it's rabid for the thunder, but but I'm pretty sure there are at least as many Cowboy fans in Oklahoma City as Thunder fans because <laughs> Oklahoma City is a Cowboy stronghold. I grew up there as a Cowboy fan because it was our pro football team. I, I don't get right. it. The, hey, Skip, I, okay, Golden State got more rabid fans, but what is California? Is it a Warriors, is it a Warriors State or a Laker Nation? When you look at the Cowboys, yeah, they the got Lakers, the Mavericks, they got the, the Rangers. Lakers should be on here. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Clearly, yeah. in Shannon's house, it's a Laker fan base because your backdrop is a little insane. Uh, Lonzo Ball, guys, improved his form on the court, but he may need some help off the court. We explain next.